Welcome to ClubhouseNews.com. You're tuned in to Clubhouse News Weekend for the week ending Saturday, December 13th. I'm Shayna. And I'm Devin. Time Magazine announced its Person of the Year for 2014, and the honor goes to the Ebola fighters battling the outbreak in West Africa. These brave medical professionals have risked exposure to the deadly virus in order to fight the infection, and some even lost their lives in the process. Fortunately, their work has succeeded in slowing the outbreak, which was originally predicted to affect 1.4 million people before being contained. It first began with a two-year-old child in Guinea who was likely infected by an animal before spreading to Liberia and Sierra Leone, with a few cases reaching the USA and Europe. Ebola is passed on by bodily fluids, shuts down key organs, and causes dozens of terrible symptoms. Several promising treatments are still undergoing medical trials, but companies are working hard to find a cure. So far, Ebola has infected 18,000 people, claiming the lives of about 6,400. We've got 100 more infected. It's spreading like a brush fire. What are you talking about? If one of them's got it, then 10 of them have got it now. A mysterious group calling itself Lizard Squad has gone after Sony in one of the worst hacks ever, demanding that they not release a movie called The Interview. This summer, actors Seth Rogen and James Franco began hyping up The Interview, a Sony Pictures movie where they played journalists hired to assassinate the all-powerful leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. Although the North Korean government has denied involvement in the hack, they've praised the actions of Lizard Squad. As for Sony, they've kept quiet about the incident and are working hard with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, to determine what happened. Not only have the hackers leaked the private numbers of celebrities and the code names they used to make reservations at hotels, Lizard Squad has also invaded the private emails and personal information belonging to hundreds of Sony employees. Now everything from online trash talking between co-workers to downloadable versions of unreleased movies like Annie are available for the public to see. Lizard Squad even went after the PlayStation Network, interrupting online features for PS3 and PS4 gamers. Who knew Hollywood could cause an international conflict? The CIA would love it if you could take him out. Hmm? Take him out. Like for drinks? Like to dinner? Take him out in the town? No, uh, take him out. For the first time ever, a 14 college football playoff will determine who wins the national championship. And the semifinal matchups have been announced. The Alabama Crimson Tide is taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes in the All-State Sugar Bowl while the Oregon Ducks will face off against the Florida State Seminoles in the Rose Bowl. The Big 12 is noticeably absent from the main event, and some fans are wishing for the good old days of the Bowl Championship Series, or BCS. From 1998 to 2013, the BCS was a selection system that made a five bowl game matchups with 10 top ranked teams, but people complained that it wasn't fair and that a team could go undefeated during the season and still not make it. Now, the new semifinals will take place on January 1st, and the winners will move on to the title match on January 12th. The British royal family swooped in from across the pond this week, making a splash in the USA with a three-day whirlwind tour of New York City and Washington. Prince William and his wife Kate who are the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, raised money for charity and met with major power players. After touching down in New York City on Sunday, the royal couple was greeted by adoring fans. Then they headed to a fancy dinner to raise money for the Royal Foundation Charity, which helps dozens of causes like saving wildlife and caring for veterans. Throughout the visit, they attended an NBA game alongside hip-hop royalty Jay-Z and Beyonce, joined a children's crafting group in Harlem, held a moment of silence at the September 11th memorial, and Prince William met with President Barack Obama in the Oval Office. This trip marks their first official visit to New York City and their first USA trip since stopping by California in 2011 at the end of a Canadian tour. Prince William is second in line for the throne after his father Charles, Prince of Wales, who is the eldest child of Queen Elizabeth II. 
Although the British monarchy doesn't have as much power as it used to hundreds of years ago, its members serve an important symbolic role. They also raise awareness and money for social issues across the globe.